Hello guys, uh, back again with another new project. I'm going to be converting this inboard outboard uh, boat uh, to a outboard engine and basically just going to be cutting out the back of the boat here and once I get it all cleaned out and uh, transplanting that XR2 Merker 150 horsepower outboard onto the back of this boat. Uh, so basically what I have to do is remove all the stuff from the inside there as well as remove all of the bracketry and inboard outboard leg from the back of the boat and uh, then I'll be able to start cutting the back of the boat out uh, sort of like we did on this um, boat next door here. Uh, we've just added the pods to the back of this boat uh, to allow us to have more buoyancy at the back and move the engine in which then uh, pushes the nose of the boat down um, so you don't get that sort of hobby horsing effect you do with a normal pod. Uh, this boat here is a 14 foot uh, that we've added a cuddy cabin onto and you can see that uh, video of me creating that boat uh, in my channel if you check out my other videos. Uh, so basically I'm going to just uh, get going on taking all of this hardware off the back of this boat, cleaning it all up and then uh, getting that leg off and then I should be able to start um, remaking the transom and the engine mount. I just got to clean out uh, the engine well here as well as getting rid of uh, that other old OMC engine out of the back of the boat. So you can see here now I've cleaned everything off the back of the boat and uh, I've cut the transom a little bit just to make it easier for me to get that uh, old inboard outboard off the back of the boat. Uh, just easier than trying to get all those old steering mounting bolts uh, off the back as well as being able to pull the old um, hardware through instead of uh, fighting to get all the bol old bolts out. So I'm just going to uh, grab the come along and lift it out. Here it is. Um, just pulled it through the back and pushed it off to the side and we're now ready um, to start cutting the hole in the back of the transom where the engine will originally or going to be sitting now and just have to do some measurements to make sure that I only cut it down as far as required so the engine will just sit inside here. And then uh, once we get that uh, bolted through we can then uh, start fiberglassing um, the back of the boat up again. So here it is uh, cut away and I've got a 2x10 there that we're going to be screwing and bolting through the old transom um, to use as our new engine mount. And you can see from the inside here it's going to go right from right across the entire width of the boat. It'll be screwed through the old transom as well as lag bolted from the outside uh, and then fiberglassed up um, inside the boat there. Uh, as well as on the outside here, we'll have it all fiberglassed up uh, so that it's the boat's again waterproof um, from the back. And the engine will just sit just inside there, um, inside the back of the boat. So you can see here now I've got it clamped and screwed in place. And uh, basically the engine is just going to sit on that two by 10 there. I'm going to put some additional bracing and uh, I'll show you a picture of uh, when I've got this sort of seat that's going to be sitting on either side as well as the sides put back on and when I'm ready for fiberglassing. Um, so, so here it is uh, basically ready for fiberglassing. Uh, we've mocked up the seat side there uh, as well as uh, put some blocks in because the stringers didn't go all the way through and we wanted to have that as strong as we could at the bottom edge there because uh, that's where the engine is going to be pulling and pushing on the back of the boat. And so once we get that all fiberglassed up we should be able to uh, get the engine on. Uh, we did test fit the engine just to make sure that uh, the cavitation plate was at the right height um, and that the engine could swing full left and right lock. Uh, as well, we also tested to make sure that it was wide enough uh, to get the cover off the engine. Um, and we just wanted to uh, do that all before we fiberglassed anything in, just to make sure that uh, we had the right widths. So you can see here from the outside, it's mounted on there uh, as well, again, from the inside. 
And I uh, hope you guys uh, like the video. Subscribe to my channel as well as uh, like the video if you are interested in seeing more uh, parts of this project. Uh, it's going to take a little while to do it.